All right, this is a strength of materials problem, and uh, this is what we have. The steel bolt has a diameter of 7 millimeters and fits through an aluminum sleeve as shown in the picture. So in the middle here we have our aluminum sleeve and there's our bolt that goes through the middle of it. Uh, the sleeve has an inner diameter of 8 millimeters and an outer diameter of 10 millimeters. The nut is uh, adjusted so that it just presses against the sleeve. So if the assembly is uh, at the beginning is at uh, 20 degrees Celsius and then it's raised to 100 degrees Celsius, they want us to determine the average normal stress in the bolt and in the sleeve. Okay, so the main thing that we need to observe here when before we start this problem is that if we look at this uh, assembly the length of the sleeve and the length of the bolt here between my fingers is the same therefore we can just go ahead and let's call it L length so this will be very important okay from here we can uh, write up this equation the deformation of the steel bolt will be equal to the deformation of the aluminum sleeve. Since they are the same length, they are fastened to each other, as uh, we, are, we are hitting them, they are going to be uh, expanding, they are going to be expanding at the same rate. But this will stand only in one of the two cases that uh, we might have in a situation as such. So I made a little contraption over here, hopefully I can explain it in a way that it's clear. So let's say the screwdriver is my bolt and I put these two here, they are the bolt. And the orange thingy is uh, my aluminum sleeve. So in the first case where we have this one, we have the steel and aluminum expanding and the aluminum in the middle will expand faster than the steel. Therefore it will be always nice and snugly pressing against the two bolts on the two sides. Therefore, as they expand, they will be always in contact and they will have the same length. The other cases where the steel would expand faster than the aluminum. In that case, we would just simply have where the steel would grow away from the aluminum sleeve and we're just gonna have the sleeve in the middle without any uh, stress, compression on it. So we need to check in our situation which one will go grow faster and which one will grow slower. I wrote down here all the values that we are given, the diameters, the temperature, temperature change I calculated from T2 minus T1 we're gonna get a temperature change of 80. Uh, we also have given Young's modulus for both materials and the coefficient of thermal expansion we also have it for both materials. Okay, for uh, so let's go ahead and check which material will expand faster. We're gonna use this formula, deformation due to temperature. I wrote it up here, one times for the aluminum, one times for uh, the steel. So in order to do this, we know that their length is the same. So therefore, let's just uh, instead of L, let's just assume that it's gonna be one meter for both of them. Instead of L for both, we're gonna call it 1 meter for both, or 10, or whatever. Just make sure they are the same. Let's plug in, and we're gonna find out which of them deformed, uh, has a larger deformation for the same temperature change. Okay, here we go. I went ahead, I plugged in the values uh, that we have. Coefficient on term of thermal expansion for both materials. Delta T, I use the delta T that we're going to be working with in, in the problem, the 80 Celsius, and I just picked one meter length for both of them. Now if we calculate, we're going to see that the aluminum would expand 0.00184 meters, while the steel would expand 0.00112 meters. So as we can see, the aluminum would be expanding more than the steel. Therefore the situation where uh, the bolts would grow away 
from the sleeve will not happen. They will always nicely stay uh, snugly pressed against each other. So therefore this equation, we can work with it. That's the, our savior is gonna be in this problem. So then let's go ahead and let's see how can we use it. Now let's go ahead and break up these two. And we're going to take a look at each material, what's happening to it in more detail. Let's start with the, let's start with the sleeve. Okay. The sleeve, at first, what's going to happen to it? It's going to be heated. So therefore we're going to have a deformation of the sleeve is made of uh, aluminum so i'm gonna write here deformation of aluminum and i'm gonna also put right now here so we know that is due to heat okay as the sleeve is trying to grow what else is happening to it the steel bolt is not growing as fast as the aluminum as we determined so therefore the steel will be exerting an extra force trying to keep it smaller so therefore we're gonna have an axial deformation due to a force so I'm gonna put here this is due to force so we have a, a deformation due to heat and we have a deformation due to force now let's take a look at the steel bolt same thing we're gonna have a deformation uh, due to of the bolt which is steel material and we're gonna have a deformation due to heat right now let's take a look at what else is happening as the steel bolt is growing in uh, length the sleeve inside it wants to grow even faster so therefore it's exerting a force on it this way so it's not going to be a minus it's going to be a plus so we have heat and a deformation due to a force that's trying to stretch it even faster because of the sleeve is trying to grow faster than the steel. So I'm going to put the deformation of the steel due to force. Okay, and there you go. And here are the two uh, formulas that we're going to be relying on. For the heat, we're going to be using deformation due to temperature. And for the force, we're going to be using deformation due to, the, due to axial loading. I'm going to go ahead and plug these in. Here we have all the formulas nicely plugged in, specified where's the steel, where's the aluminum. Now, if you are thinking that until now we don't have L, we don't know what this is. How are we going to use all these formulas when it's full of L? Well, actually that's the good news, because we have L everywhere. We have here, 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 therefore we can just simply get rid of it now everything else we have the coefficient of thermal expansion we have for both materials delta t we have is the same for both materials the e and the a are given for us for both materials and the force is exactly what we're looking for right now because that's what's going to help us find the stress values here you can see that i I'm rearranging stuff in order so I can solve for F. That's what we're looking for here. F. And I solved it right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the values. These are all the values that we have. We have the coefficient of thermal expansion. Be careful which one you plug in where. Aluminum, steel. And on the bottom we have the Young's modulus again. One separately for steel, one for aluminum. Now the other thing that we need to pay attention to is the areas. The area of the steel is, uh, the steel bolt is basically just one solid circle, right? That's what we're dealing with. But with the area of the aluminum sleeve is, uh, uh, let's see, I'm going to write it here. It's, uh, if you look at it from the side, it looks like just like a pipe. So this is the area that we are dealing with so therefore you're gonna plug in uh, the area of the bigger circle with the outer diameter that we are given to be uh, let's say 10 millimeters minus the 
area of the inner circle, which we are given to be 8 millimeters. Okay, so pay attention to that over here when you plug it in. And then you can plug into your calculator and we're going to find that force is equal to 1133 newtons. Now, we are not done with the problem yet because this is not what they asked. They asked us to find the stress in the bolt and in the sleeve. As we can see, we are dealing with axial forces in this problem. So, therefore, we're going to use the axial stress uh, formula. Stress equals force over area. We're going to plug in for separately for steel, separately for aluminum, and let's see what kind of values we're going to get. Here is the final calculations. The stress for the aluminum equals force over the area of the aluminum. I plug in the values that we are given and we, the one that we calculated. The force, we just found it to be 1133.54 newtons. The area of the aluminum, again be careful, it's a sleeve. The, this is the outer diameter, inner diameter. Just like we did for the force, same way. Don't forget to subtract. And we're going to find a stress that is equal to 40.1 megapascals in the aluminum sleeve. We're going to do the same thing and we're going to calculate the stress for the steel, force over area of the steel, force value, area of the steel, that was just a circle, plug it in and we're going to get a stress value of 29.5 megapascals. And that pretty much concludes our problem.